I know one of Nicolo, Nicolo Mo. Welcome to another Men and Series with Nse Tobo Sigwe, Eze Nicolo Mo. And first, I need to explain. Last week, I did upload a new video. I had some emergency I need to take care of. Today, I want to discuss the philosophy of Onti Adero. The philosophy of Onti Adero. Um, before I start, I need to remind you that in a few days' time, we are a fellow festival. We will start off. I will count it an honor if I can see as many of you that have been following me on this channel during the festival. It's an opportunity for us to learn, fraternize, and enjoy. Thank you. Today, I want to discuss the philosophy of what? Nte Adero. Nte Adero. Adjofia Mary, in one of his songs, talked about the mind of rock that cannot be moved and the mind of steel that cannot be bent. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are returning to Odinana, you must realize that your mind must be that of a rock and that of what? A steel. If you make a decision to join into Odinana or you start showing a sign that you are no longer interested in Christianity, you see a lot of people start coming up with what advice, a lot of unsolicited and solicited advice. They begin to pretend or behave as if they care about your personal welfare, as if they love you more than you love yourself. They will want to advise you or even at times threaten you or want you stand to lose by following the ways of our ancestors. This is where the philosophy of Ntiadero comes in. Ntiadero means shutting your ears against all who want to cry more than what be bereaved about a decision that you have taken on how to live your life. We that are returning to Odin and have taken some certain decisions. What are these decisions? Number one, you no longer want to give your life to what? Christ. An Ntiadero adherent is one who has collected his life from Jesus Christ. It's mortally shameful that as an African, we are convinced to surrender our life to a white man. The teaching that Jesus died for our sin is insulting to an Onyodinana, insulting to an Onyibu, insulting to an African. So the philosophy of Onti Adero is against this kind of teaching. A true Onyodinana does not use Jesus Christ as his model. Why some teachings of Jesus is worthy and noble? This does not in any way translate to total surrendering of your life to him. Jesus, like Buddha, like Muhammad, like Confucius, like many, many people, even our ancestors, have many what? Important teachings. Many good teachings. Even to today, there are still several people who are teaching. But this does not mean that we should sur surrender our life to any of these people. If Jesus died on the cross, that's his business, not mine. It's none of my business that he died on the cross. He didn't die for my sin. So we're not going to be emotionally blackmailed into having pity for him. for such. So we don't have unte, we don't have ears, we don't have energy, we don't have spine for such hogwash and what brainwash. The philosophy of Unte Adero, we are not emotionally invested. In Jesus dying on the cross or giving our life to what Jesus Christ. Number two, Anun Tiadero, the philosophy, we are no longer interested in what going to heaven. Anun Tiadero person is not interested in the concept of going to the white man's world, heaven upon death. We have weaned ourselves from such delusions and wishy, wishful thinking to go into heaven to go and meet Jesus, to go and meet God. Tiadero say for that. We cannot submit our ears to any attempt to convince us otherwise. Anybody who is trying to convince us otherwise, into the raw. I am warranted for such. Any advice, teaching, or prodding that is attempting to cajole us into thinking of heaven is an anathema to our ears. Into the raw for such. Number three. We are not going to be guilty about animal sacrifice. As such, any condemnation of the ritual killing of animal, which is important creed of Odinana, is not going to be listened to. Ntiadero has a philosophy. We are not going to listen to anyone who has a problem with us slaughtering animal for our chief, for Andi Ishii and Andi Izumezu. I am resented for that. We are going to be slaughtering animal. I can hear four bala akagale. I can't even go for our chief. I can't even go for our our ambition. I can't even go for.
Awezumezu. Anybody who has a problem with it and wants to tell us to stop, we are not going to listen to the person. Number four, Ewafa. Divination is Igbo cultural practice and there is nothing wrong with it. We strongly subscribe to going to divination when faced with life problems. Going to divination to a diviner is not a sin against God, is not a sin against our chief, is not a sin against our ancestors. So anyone that has any issue with divination, to listen to such whining. I am warranted for such. I, we are not going to listen. Number five. Chi Ndishi and ourselves. In this philosophy of Ntiadero, any advice that is not emanating from our Chi, from our Ndishi, from ourselves, these sources, we are not interested. Just kindly keep your advice. Our Chi and Ndishi are our saviors and guidance. They are our pillars. They are our leaders of faith. They are the ones who have died for us. They have given us our identity. So it is their opinion that counts, not that, that of the Bible God, not that of the Bible theologians, not that of any pastors or any other religious establishment. Any advice that is not coming from our chi, from our ndishie, from our own self, Iowa, moa, ntiad rose, for such, for such advice. Number six, afyanano bosinano. We are guided by the four market days of A.K. Orie Afo. The forces guiding these market days are ours, or our, our, our forces. We guide our spirituality to any of these days. Our spirituality revolves around these four market days. What if you must align on Sunday? What if you must align on Saturday? What if you must align on Friday? Any other Sabbath day out of these four holy days, these four market days, outside of the outside of AK Ori, are for Upo, Ntiadero. Don't tell us that Sunday is holy. No, but say, Jay, Joe, I have one for Basalina on Sunday, one for Basalina on Saturday, no, but what if for Basalina on Friday? It's the other all. Can I know, but Nano? Number seven, it's the other as a philosophy is uncompromising. We do not compromise or try to be shy with our evil belief system. We are audacious, proud, and rugged with the ways of our ancestors. This is what the philosophy of Untiadero stands for. Ayade is Ezo. I have your eyes open, so we are more than an amba. I had a me, my worry for Jaina, me. Eh, I know on a bar nowhere. We must follow the ways of our ancestors, and we are doing it in the day. I had a zazo, a worry for Jaina, my gono, I name it. So we are uncompromising with our belief system. We are going to preach it inside boss. Oh no, shall not. I will all a boss. We are going to preach it by the market square. We are going to market square. We are going to be preaching it in your faces. We are going to be bold about it. You can see the polo that I'm wearing. So if you want this polo, we have made this kind of polos available so that you can use it to what? Acclaim your faith. State where you stand. Declare this day. No sitting on the fence. If you want your polo, you can make an order. We can send it and wear it boldly. Wear it to your workplace. Wear it to your mona meeting. Wear it to visit friends. Wear it wherever you are going. And shine as only Odinana. Thank you. Odinana is our pride. It's our legacy. It's our identity. Eh? Practice your Odinana with what? Pride. Thank you for watching this video uh, if you like the video please like subscribe and share i would like to hear from some of you if you have any question please you can reach me through the number on the screen or my email address or other, my other social media handles thank you thank you